Coming up in just minutes, guns on campus, that's a reality that UTRGV could face in less than a year. And we have the latest on Hestech, all that and much more as UTRGV TV starts now. Hey there, thanks for joining us on this week's edition of UTRGV TV. I am Orlando Vargas. Guns on campus, that's a reality that universities across Texas will face in less than a year. But how prepared is UTRGV in the event of an active shooter? Our reporter Steven Cavazos went looking for answers. Recreational, dangerous, whether you're for or against gun control, controversy has been surrounding this heated topic for years. The many times that I've heard of guns, for example, being in school, it's always having to involve like shootings and a lot of um, unfortunately like deaths. Earlier this year, the Texas legislature passed Senate Bill 11, which allows license holders to carry concealed handguns on campus grounds. And students like Simons are beginning to feel nervous. Anyone could have a gun and um, in any moment, you know, maybe, I don't know, it's just they could take it out or something would happen. So it's, it's just the idea that's it's scary. Yeah. 45 school shootings occurred across the country this year alone, most recently at Umpqua Community College in Roseburg, Oregon. If, you know, right now it, it is against the law to have a weapon on, on campus. So uh, if we do find somebody with a with a weapon, you know, they will be arrested and charged with the violation. Gilbert Garza of Massey's Gun Shop and Shooting Range in Brownsville says obtaining a firearm and concealed license is not as simple as most people would think. For one, you have to go to a six-hour course and a, with a qualified concealed handgun instructor. Uh, during that six-hour course, you're taught everything of when you can and when you cannot legally carry a firearm. Uh, you have to take a test on that based on everything you've taught in that class. You have to show proficiency with the firearm, so you have to be able to actually shoot a firearm. Then after all that's done, you submit the paperwork to the state, the state of Texas. That paperwork can take anywhere from two months to sometimes six months, depending on your background. In the events of a campus shooting, Chief Mungia and the UTRGV Police Department want students to be assured that their safety is a top priority. Typically, the event is over very, very quickly, and it's usually your patrol officer, your patrol presence there that neutralizes the threat. In Brownsville, Stephen Cavazos, UTRGV TV. Faulty computers are causing students to lose out on their work in the classroom, and they say they see no relief in sight and are fed up with the wait. Our Oscar Castillo tells us more. Microsoft Office, Adobe Photoshop, and InDesign are just a few programs students use on university computers. The only problem is keeping the computers on. Every 10 minutes, every 5 seconds, it'll shut down, it'll restart. So all our work is like taken down, everything like that happens. It's just, it's to a point where it's unbearable. Communication professor Ben Wasike has tried resolving this problem with IT since the semester began. Last week, I still had the same problem after I had got confirmation that they'd fixed the computers. You really can't go and check every computer and wait five minutes for it to crash. You can only tell when class is running, and that's a very horrible situation. A faculty senate would normally resolve issues such as this, but the university has yet to approve a legislative body since the recent merger. Usually what will happen is if someone brings an issue up, then you might hear from five or six other people that are having similar issues in other parts of the campus. If a problem continues, the school administration is notified by the Faculty Senate, which Morgan hopes to have established by the end of this month. I really do feel bad that we haven't been able to um, have the Senate up and running. Uh, I think everyone has done the best they can. While the Faculty Senate waits to be approved, students in Wasika's class must learn to adapt to their malfunctioning computers. For UTRGV TV, I am Oscar Castillo. The Distinguished Speaker Series kicked off this semester with Soledad O'Brien. The journalist kicked off her I Am Latino in America tour in an effort to discuss issues affecting the Latino community. I loved science as a kid. I remember going to the Kennedy Space Center a couple years ago to take it, like, just, just for fun. And I remember thinking, it was so weird to think, when I was a kid, kids wanted to be astronauts. And now, when I was at the Kennedy Space Center, people wanted to be Kardashians. And to me, that was a problem, because 
the people don't understand that someone like the Kardashians, their parents, their dad was a lawyer, a very successful lawyer. So without that success, without someone having done the hard work, they wouldn't have been as known as they are. You know, so I think something as important as science and math, that's where you get the fundamentals. Not everybody can, not everyone can play baseball, basketball. Everybody's good at different things and we have to work to find what everybody's good at. That's the way we can actually further along as a generation. Valley native Cristela Alonzo was one of nine local guest panelists on the tour. The comedian also talked about her struggle with education and what led to her success. Texas Governor Greg Abbott also made an appearance during Hestic Week. The governor talked to students from across the Rio Grande Valley on Student Leadership Day. How do you spell the word money? Still haven't heard the right answer. The way you spell money is S-T-E-M. Exactly. Here's the reality. The reality is that your focus on STEM education and careers is going to put you on a pathway that will help you make more money when you graduate from college. But, maybe even more important than the money that you will make is the skill and the training that you will have that will enable you to change the world around you with your ideas, with your innovations. Abbott stressed the importance of the STEM field in the area with the creation of the new medical school and space exploration coming soon. Well, research programs for undergraduate students are currently in the works for UTRGV. A workshop was held in the Brownsville campus aimed at providing resources for students interested in undergraduate research. Our students can actually participate in either service learning or undergraduate research or academic internships to get them ready for the workforce. Students that are interested might be eligible to receive a $2,000 grant for research purposes. Students are urged to apply at utrgv.edu slash engaged. Well, the volleyball and soccer seasons are in full swing around V Nation. And for the latest scores, we go now to our Daniel Galvan. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just reading the writer. Hi, I'm Daniel Galvan. I'm in the panic room, hashtag men in blazers, where we will give you all the updates in the world of sports. This is suboptimal. I am suboptimal. By the way, before we get into the sports, Check out the rider. All right, it's for free on newsstands. That's right, for free. F R E, um, E, free. You can get it for free, and it's free. I mean, you know what else is free? Uh, Tinder. Tinder's for free, unless you swipe right too many times, then you do have to pay nine ninety nine to continue to swipe right within twenty four hour period. Not that I would know. No, I don't know. I don't know that. I'm not on Tinder. All right, I'm on Farmers Only. Clearly, because I'm a vaquero. Vaquero. Speaking of vaqueros, uh, let's take a look back on the week of athletics. Starting off with the volleyball team, the UTRGV Vaqueros hosted Chicago State on Saturday, and they got their first conference win, shutting out the Cougars three sets to none. Now the Texans have J.J. Watt, all right? The UFC has Ronda Rousey, but we have Boljana Mitrovic, who had a dominant game. She had her sixth double-double of the year with 23 kills and 14 digs. She's playing like Pete Daniel Day-Lewis in Lincoln or Pete Gary Busey before he started, I don't know, eating people. Mitrovic, the sophomore Serbian co-captain, can thank her fellow Serbian, number 10, Dubrovka Vukoha. Dubrovka was efficient as a setter, notching at 43 assists. Seriously, 43 assists, that's one for every presidential candidate. What's up, Jim Gilmore and Lincoln Chafee? Mitrovic and Dubrovka form a better Serbian connection than Pranislav Ivanovic and Alexander Kolarov. Here's Hawaiian senior Haley Durham with one of her four aces. A nice kill here by Durham. Now head coach Todd Lowry is probably telling the team to check out the Martians. Uh, it's Mark Wahlberg at his best. And the band! Oh, the band! Showing more hand-eye coordination in 10 seconds than I have my whole life. Back to the game with Alexander Ecker finishing a Dubrovka assist. And here we got junior co-captain Alicia Watson close out the game with a dig straight out of the matrix and a game-winning kill. The Vaqueros top the Cougars three sets to none. The team did drop a game earlier in the week to the University of Missouri, Kansas City Kangaroos. They lost three sets to one at home. But fun fact about kangaroos, they never sweat, even when they do CrossFit. 
Unfortunately, the women's soccer team did lose two games this past week at home. They lost against Grand Canyon University and CSU Bakersfield. CSU Bakersfield, that's in California. What's up, Red Hot Chili Peppers? On Friday, the Vaqueros dropped a 1-0 loss to Grand Canyon. And uh, Swedish goalkeeper for uh, UTRGV, Maria Eriksson, did have a pretty good game. Seven saves for the Vaqueros. And uh, UTRGV then lost to Bakersfield 3-0 with Erica Gonzalez putting together five saves on that Sunday tilt. A midfielder Elisa Espino had a solid game with two shots on goal, but the Vaqueros dropped both games at home this past week. The men's football squad spent the week on the road, starting off with a tough 1-0 loss at Grand Canyon University, but they did follow that up with a 1-0 victory on Sunday against the University of Las Vegas. Sophomore substitute Temu Varakalio buried the ball in the net for the Vaqueros in the 34th minute and goalkeeper Leo Castillo had a clean sheet. One of the alternate officials for that match by the way was named John Kennedy who wasn't our former president but the game did happen in Las Vegas so who knows. Uh, it was a great win for head coach Paul Lease who is putting himself in position to replace Brendan Rodgers at Liverpool or Joe Philbin in Miami. That just about does it. That actually does do it for this week's sports recap. We'll be back next week with highlights in the world of men's football, men's soccer. Um, if you didn't get your fill of UTRGV Athletics, you can actually check out uh, the UTR, the folks at UTRGV Athletics do a great job of covering the Vaqueros with uh, interviews, highlights, and this great show, V Nation. You can check that out at youtube.com backslash UTRGV Athletics. Uh, back to the studio, I'm Daniel Gavon. Well, we want to thank you for joining us on this week's newscast. And if you have a story idea, you can go ahead and let us know on our Facebook page at UTRGV TV. Or you can also send us an email at UTRGVTV at gmail.com. Now, stay up to date with the latest happening around UTRGV and the Rio Grande Valley. I'm Orlando Vargas. See you until next time.